uh, as you know, uh, from tomorrow, your minor exams are starting, your SC3 is starting, uh, and your uh, GK exam is on 25th of March, right? It is on 25th of March, and the portion is from page number 34 to 55, right? Page number 34. To 55. So in our previous class, we finished till uh, page number 51. Now we have to finish off 52, 53, 54, and 55. Right? So as you know, it is going to be all objective type. You will be asked multiple choice questions. It's going to be very easy. So don't get panicked and uh, just go through all the pages, read the pages. Uh, you will remember. So once you read properly, spend some uh, one hour today and tomorrow and uh, read those pages. It's going to be easy, so no need to worry. And I have sent you an activity uh, where I have asked you to refer page number 56 to 60. So the month of August, September, October, November, and December. So you have uh, different topics which are covered in each month. Ma the activity which is sent is uh, you have to select any two topic of your choice. Okay, it's totally your choice. You can select. You can either select uh, the topic which is given under the month of uh, September, which is about Anand Pai, uh, who was the creator of Amar Chitrakatha, and uh, maybe the second topic which you want to take can be uh, about Vargis Kurian, which is uh, given under the month of November. So it's your choice, any two topics which are covered in these months, take that and write 10 points about each of them. You can take 10 points from the book or else you can take from the other sources, okay? But I want it to be written neatly, presentation has to be good, write the heading. GK activity and whatever topic you're covering, like if it is about Varkis Korean, then Varkis Korean. If you get his pictures, you can stick his picture and uh, write the uh, points neatly. Okay, 10 points. You can use uh, different colors to highlight uh, the important thing. Okay, um, you have to submit it on or before 31st. Okay, right. So now uh, we will start the rest of the pages, we'll finish it off. Uh, so I thought we'll start from page number 55, we'll go from backwards, right? So the month of July. In the month of July, they have spoken about JRD data. So JRD data is JRD data. Is one of the most legendary Indians. He was a pioneer aviator and built one of the largest industrial houses of India. JRD is credited with placing the Tata Group on the international map. He is known as the father of Indian civil aviation. So underline that. So whatever I'm asking you to underline, you underline that. That is enough. Father of Indian civil aviation. He founded India's first commercial airline, Tata Airlines, in 1932, which in 1946 became Air India. Now, India's national airline. We celebrate his birthday in July. So, he was the one who started the commercial airline, Tata Airlines. Uh, when, when initially it was started uh, with the name of Tata Airlines, and then 1946 it became Air India, which is now India's national airline. Okay, popularly known as J Jahangir Ratanji Dada Boy Tata. So this J R D stands for Jahangir Ratanji Dada Boy Tata. Was born on 29th July 1904. It was born on 29th. July 1904. In Paris, in France, his father Ratanji Dadaboy Tata was a Parsi and first occupation of Jamshedji Tata. Sorry, first cousin of, I'm sorry. Uh, first cousin of uh, Jamshedji Tata. 
a pioneer industrialist in india so he was a cousin of a very famous industrialist in india jamshed ji tata so ratan ji dada boy tata was a parsi as his mother suzain soni brar was french he spent much of his childhood in france Jari Tata then set his mind on securing an engineering degree from Cambridge, but his father summoned him back to India. He soon found himself on the threshold of a business career. Jari Tata joined Tata and Sons as an unpaid apprentice in 1925. At the age of 34, he was elected chairman of Tata and Sons, making him the head of the largest industrial group in India. see uh, the one who joined without uh, any salary and then at the age of 34 he will, he became the chairman of tata and sons for decades he directed the huge tata group of companies with major interest in steel engineering power chemicals and hospi hospitality he was famous and successful in business during his tenure jrd that is jahangir ratanji dada boy tata initiated a program of closer employee association with management to give workers a stronger voice in the affairs of the company he for the first time pioneered the system of developing employee welfare schemes in corporate india and steered the principles of an 8 hour working day so he was the one who implemented different schemes for workers and uh, different uh, uh, rules that we should work for only 8 hours a day free medical aid workers provident fund the pf which is given to the workers accident compensation schemes which were later adopted as statutory uh, requirement in india he died in switzerland in 1993 at the age of 89 when he passed away the indian parliament was adjourned as a mark of respect in an extremely rare gesture he was awarded the padma vibhushan underline this so you have very few points underline underline this point he was awarded the padma vibhushan and india's highest civilian award the bharat ratna so he uh, got the bharat ratna and the padma vibhushan he also received the legion of honor from the french government jrd tata had a passion for flying he had the honor of being india's first pilot and got the license number 1 so what you have to remember in this page is what is the full name of jrd tata jahangir ratan ji dada boy tata so what is his full name when was he born he was born on 29th july 1904 and where was he born he was born in paris he was born in paris right then uh, he is also known as the father of i mean he is known as the father of indian civil aviation right then these points underline these points and then then the last paragraph he was awarded the padma vibhushan and uh, bharat ratna okay so only this much you have to remember from this page easy now moving on to the month of june so only these points are enough just underline these points and it's going to be very easy so no get panic that oh god there's so much to read how am i going to do it make it simple okay okay i'll repeat again just underline the important point JRD Tata uh, his full name is Jahangir Ratanji Dada Boy Tata he was born on 29th July 1904 in France uh, in uh, France okay in France uh, then he is known as the father of Indian civil uh, aviation mm, next point to remember is he was awarded the padma vibhushan and bharat ratna award so only these points are important points which we have to remember 
ओके नेक्स्ट द मंथ ऑफ जून जून Madagascar celebrates its independence day in june let us explore this lovely country so it celebrates its independence in the month of june so may this question can be asked like which month uh does madagascar celebrates its independence or um in the month of june the one of the country celebrates its independence and you will be given the options of the different countries okay so you have to choose the correct one madagascar is the world's fourth biggest island it is situated in the indian ocean off the southeast coast of africa so uh, of the southeast coast of africa in the indian ocean it is the fourth biggest island so underline this point underline the first point madagascar celebrates its independence in june independence day in june if you have a highlighter highlight it or is uh, use a pencil to underline the important point it celebrates its independence day in june second point to underline is madagascar is the world's fourth uh, biggest island Antananarivo is the country's capital, while other major cities include Tomasina and Antsirabi. Madagascar became a French colony in 1896 and remained so till 26 June 1960, when it gained independence. So, when did it gain independence? 26 June. Madagascar is known for its extremely rich biodiversity. It is home to hundreds of species of animals found nowhere else on Earth. Important point: Madagascar is well known for its extremely rich biodiversity. The island uh, mass of Madagascar separated from the African continent one sixty five million years ago. Since then, Madagascar's bizarre animals and extraordinary plant life. have been evolving so on the right hand side they have given you the flag flag of madagascar so if i give you the flag uh, you should be able to find out the answer okay the language spoken by most of the madagascar is malagasy hence the people of madagascar are called malagasies important point underline that what language is spoken people are called madagascar is the home uh which one no 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 oh, you mean the first, uh the points which is given the first point is important and the third point when it it get independence and the last point is enough okay madagascar is the home to around 70 species and sub species of lemurs most notable of them is the ring tailed lemur the character of king julian in the animated film series madagascar is a ring tailed lemur Ravenella madagascariensis also known as travelers palm is an iconic symbol of madagascar see look at the uh, tree how beautiful it looks right 
so, so beautifully the leaves are aligned though it's uh it's palm it's called a palm and looks like one it's not a palm the madagascarian cis plant is present in the national emblem as well as the logo of the national airline of this country it is called palm but it's not a palm Here, Madagascar is an animated film produced by DreamWorks, headed by Steven Spielberg. The film is a story of four Central Park Zoo animals from New York who are shipwrecked on the island of Madagascar. So most of you would have seen this movie, right? Madagascar. Interesting movie. So here, what you have to remember, Madagascar celebrates its independence in the month of June. And it is the fourth, uh, world's fourth uh, biggest island. Um, and it is situated in Indian Ocean, okay, underline that. Then, um, the language spoken in Madagascar is Malagasy and the people are called Malagasis, like Malayalam, Malayalis, like that, okay. Then, uh, put a symbol of important on top of Madagascar flag, you have to remember the flag, enough. And the name of this traveler's palm. What is the name of traveler's palm found in Madagascar? Ravenala Madagascariensis. Okay, that's all. Enough. Okay, fine. Skip off page number 53. 52 page number, the month of April where they have spoken about Leonardo da Vinci, one of the famous uh, Renaissance masters, was born in the month of April. Let us see how well we know him and his art. Leonardo da Vinci was born on 15th April 1452 in Italy. Underline that. When was he born? On 15th April. Please underline that. In Italy during the Renaissance period, Renaissance is the period between 14th and 16th century when art and literature went through a major revival in revi sorry revival in Europe. Yeah, you don't have page number 53. Da. It's given in the portion, but. Uh, skip that okay you don't have to read that page yeah so leonardo da vinci is called the renaissance man underline this he is called the renaissance man see i'm asking you to underline the points that is enough you read those points that is enough okay so leonardo da vinci was born on 15 april 1452 in italy underline that then second point, Leonardo da Vinci is called, is also called the Renaissance man, underline that. For the embodiment of the spirit of Renaissance in his numerous inventions and art forms. He was excellent in many fields like painting, sculpting, architecture, music, science, mathematics, engineering, and cartography. So many things, he was excellent in all these fields. At 15, Leonardo learned painting as an apprentice. Leonardo's interest in human anatomy led to his creation of the uh, Vitruvian man drawing, which is based on the ideal proportions of a man's body. Leonardo was a prolific inventor too. He developed designs for the first car, bicycle, and helicopter. Leonardo da Vinci wrote and drew many journals. His notes on various topics ranging from studies of animals and emotions to war machines, helicopters, engineer, engineering, and nature are legendary. These notes are now treasured for their reflection of the imaginative and ingenious mind of Darwin. This, these pictures, you know, this Mona Lisa and Last Supper are all masterpieces. They are all world famous uh, paintings of Leonardo da Vinci. The Da Vinci Code, the best seller book, The Da Vinci Code, written by Dan Brown and later the movie based on the, on the book revolves around 
some of the works of Leonardo da Vinci. So the this book, the Da Vinci Code, is the best. Is one of the best seller books. So you know what is a best seller book? Okay, the one which is which makes lots and lots or millions of millions of money. The best seller. Okay, which is sold all over the world in a very high speed. So these pictures are very important. Uh, probably I may give you the picture of Mona Lisa or the Last Supper, and I would ask you whose uh, art for work is this, and the options would be given. Okay, so you know this is Leonardo uh, Leonardo da Vinci's painting. Okay, so the important point which you have to remember is Leonardo da Vinci was born on fifteenth April, fourteen fifty two, in Italy. Okay. Then second, Leonardo da Vinci was also called the Renaissance uh, Renaissance man. Important point. Uh, then uh, the bestseller book, The Da Vinci Code, was written by Dan Brown. So underline the uh, name of the writer, Dan Brown, Da Vinci Code. So how many points are there? Three and the fifth, uh, three, four, uh, fifth is the painting, Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. So questions will be asked. Picture would be given, you have to tell, okay? Fine. Yes, page number 51, we started, but we couldn't finish the last class. March is named after the planet Mars. Clear, the month of April, everyone understood what you have to underline and what you have to learn. Is it clear, children? Or do you want me to repeat? Tell me quickly. We don't have time. I hope it's easy because you have only five points to remember. Okay, done. So, March, uh, the name March is named after the planet Mars. Planet Mars is also called the red planet. So this can be asked which planet is called the red planet. Planet Mars is called the red planet. Why is it called the red planet? Because the surface of Mars has iron oxide, which makes it appear red in color. It has iron oxide, which gives the characteristic red appearance. Galileo Galilei was the first person to observe Mars through a telescope in 1609. So, who was the first person to observe Mars? Galileo. He was the first person to observe Mars. Approximately. Approximately every two years, Mars and Earth are in a straight line, and hence missions can be uh, sent with a minimum amount of fuel. In January 2004, NASA's twin Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity landed on Mars. Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos, both named after gods in Greek mythology. Please underline that Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos, named after the uh, Greek gods of mythology. Martian uh, atmosphere has 95.32 carbon dioxide, 32 percentage of carbon dioxide, and 2.7 percentage of nitrogen, 1.6 percentage of argon, and traces of oxygen and water vapor, 95.32 percentage of carbon dioxide. And uh, what is the percentage of which is the, which gas is found in the highest percentage in the planet Earth? Which gas is found in highest percentage in the planet Earth? Nitrogen, very good. 78 percentage of nitrogen. Okay. The Martian day is a uh, Martian day is similar to that of Earth. It is only 41 minutes longer than the day on Earth. Okay. 
NASA in December 2011 launched rover in its series of space probes to explore the surface of Mars. Mars Orbiter Mr. MOM, also known as Mangalyaan, we have learned about Mangalyaan, right, in your previous terms, so underline that, is a Mars orbiter launched into Mars orbit on 5th November 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization. It reached Mars orbit in September 2014. So underlying uh, the last point is important. The first point is first, second, and the uh, first, second, fifth, and the last point are important. Mars is called the red planet. Why is it called the red planet? Because there is iron oxide, which gives a characteristic uh, appearance. My voice is breaking. Galileo Galilei was the first person to observe Mars through a telescope. Then the fifth point, Mars has two moons, Deimos and Phobos, which are named after the Greek gods of mythology. Then uh, uh, the last point, Mars orbiter mission MOM. Expansion of MOM can be asked. What is MOM, Mars orbiter mission? You know that already, so uh, it's easy, right? So uh, what is it called? Mars Orbiter Mission Mangalyaan. It uh, was launched on 5th November 2013. By whom? By Indian Space Research Organization. And it reached Mars Orbit in September 2014. So this is what you have to remember in this page. Okay. Olympus Mons uh, Volcano found on Mars is the largest volcano in the solar system. Mars also has Valles Meneris, the largest canyon in the solar system located near its equator. So this is interesting, right? Olympias Mons is the largest volcano in the solar system. But omit that. You have to remember, or remember all that which I told you to remember. Uh, April 1st is... Okay, I think the date is mentioned over there. You have to finish it before that. But please do finish it because last time uh, there were few, there were very few who submitted the activity and only those students got the mark. So please do submit, okay? It's it's very easy. I'm not asking you to go and uh, search something or uh, draw something or cut something from the bedding printout and all. You have to, I've given it very simple. You just refer these pages and write it neatly, 10 points, you know, okay? What do you want me to repeat? The activity? Okay, I said I have already sent you activity. Uh, last time, last uh, time means during SA2, I sent an activity, but there were very few who sent me the activity. I want everybody to send the activity. It is easy. You don't have to run towards a shop or do something. It's just you have to refer your book and write neatly on a piece of paper and upload the picture converting into PDF, right? You have only four pages to refer from page number 56 to 60. 56, 57, 58, 59, 65 pages. Okay, so uh, in all these five pages, there you have different months, right? So we have learned till the month of uh, July, till uh, where they have spoken about JRD data. From the month of August till December, August they have uh, spoken about uh, Trist with the destiny. Okay, they have spoken about Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Okay, they have spoken about Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Uh, any topic? But but one of the topics should be definitely from page number 55 to 60. Is that okay? So whatever heading is given, it's your choice. You can choose any two topics and uh, write about them. It can be about Anand Pai, it can be about Varghese Kurian, it can be about Jawaharlal Nehru, it can be about the Taj Mahal Park Hotel, which is given in the month of December. So anything, any topic, any two interesting topic of your choice. I am not giving any topic, you have to select and write neatly, present neatly, that will fetch your marks, okay? Because it's each one is obviously. Mm. Any two months between page number 50, uh, 56 to 60. Okay. So, yeah, uh, do that activity.
uh, right Neetri? Um, and go through all these pages from uh, page number 34 to 55. Okay, it's it's on the 25th of March, your GK exam. Uh, just read uh, everything. No, each carries uh, 15 marks mark. So five marks is for the presentation. Okay, so fine, we'll meet the next time. Thank you, bye, take care.